is, first of all, if we're really in a fight, I'd go, bam, I'd hit him, you know, because that makes a wrinkle out of the gi, all right? Or however I do it, I go whack, you know, and I, I yank the guy forward. I yank him a couple times, then this is going to whip around, whip around, okay? So you start from here, yank, that gives you a little bit of play, and then you take this, whip it around, okay? And it's less likely that they're going to reach up and grab it because they don't know what's going on. You're yanking once, twice, you know, pop him on the head, yank him, create that slack and whip it around as opposed to reaching here. Now, if you're halfway alert, what are you going to do? How are you going to grab me? Or, you know, if a hand comes around, it's not mine, I'm grabbing it, right? So this way, you're adding, shaking them up. You create the slack that way, but you're starting right here. And yank him forward, yank him forward, whip it around. Same thing with the Klaus Glan that you did earlier. So you're yanking him forward, that creates a space, see? That opened up his armpit right there. And then from this same grip on top, you know, he doesn't sense much, then I'm coming through, see? And I bring it together, you know? So, you know, that does two things. It disguises your intention here, but it also, opens up this arm right here because if they're good from all fours they're keeping their elbows in and they're closing that space right jake i can't get through on jake here i gotta you know shake him up open that space so same skill it's a great skill you might try it just starting right here yanking forward that creates the slack to whip it around and think of it as a noose all right Back I'm having a lot of rotator cut trouble. I shouldn't regrip. Okay. So I'm having to because I can't, I can't use this. Yeah, I just so when you get smack. That, I'm yanking them forward, yanking them yeah. forward to see the slack being created and then whip it around. See, you know, and whatever, you know, finishes, you choose the finish. Uh, for the Klaus Glan, you're yanking it forward coming under the arm, right to here, to the opposite lapel. And see here, you know, I'm under the armpit with this hand that's under, but this hand right here, you just bring the elbow over and sit through, you know? And did you feel when I, when I went to my back, it's like you just snapped the, the hangman's noose on him, okay? There's a lot of pressure when you sit through it. But it's, I think it's, pretty well disguised. And we like techniques where you got a lot of options, you know? Say I don't, I can't get it, you know? For whatever reason, I can use this as a pry right here. I can come across to a cross face while I'm prying up. But probably him, just get back up, Jake. Him being a tough guy, he's gonna post his leg out. When I start here, ah. You know, then we raise up, we give him the cross face from hell back around <laughs> to here. And then, you know, as you sit through, it's difficult for Jake to breathe right here. And, and as he continues to breathe and exhale, I keep the pressure on him. You see? How do you feel? Yeah. Unco <laughs> uncomfortable, he said. Yeah. So, you got an initial technique with many options from that. But the point is, the very start, disguising it. Yank him forward, then whip it around. Okay? There you go. All right. Thanks, All right. John. That was John Saylor showing a little bit there.